Having a conversation this morning with Decorah coach Pat Truen, reviewing last week's 13-7 to loss to Mason City. And looking back at that game, coach, uh, it seemed like uh, whoever uh, came up on the uh, short end was going to look back at some chances that they didn't fulfill. And unfortunately, uh, it was you guys. Uh, is that a fair assessment? Yeah, they had a couple of shots in the middle of the game, too. Had some guys open deep, and they missed on it. And and then we had some guys um, that were, you know, open or wherever, and we just couldn't quite hit. And we had we had probably three or four other chances to score. Couldn't quite come up with that. It was a hard-fought game both ways. Uh, both, got, both sides played some really solid defense. Um, you know, very proud of that effort. And, you know, guys played hard all game long. We just come come up with that score at a key time. And, you know, they made one amazing play right at the very end. And looking at your offense, it's uh, something that we've touched on in a few games uh, this year. Uh, you saw some good things from time to time. You just didn't see them on a consistent basis. Uh, fair assessment. Yeah, we, you know, we get out there and we get some, some good blocks going. We, we try to um, establish some sort of a running game and we'll, we'll make, uh, three, four yards. And then we'll, we sometimes we'll even get a 10 yard gain. We'll control the ball for a while. And then, you know, we connect on even one or two passes, but, but to get it all the way into the end zone, you know, we don't have to be mistake free during that process, but we got to be fairly close to it. And it, you know, we took our, uh, some of our stabs deep and just couldn't quite come up with the you know, could be the catch or the the connection, and um, yeah, that's that's uh, how the offense has gone right now this year. And on the flip side of things, uh, you really got to be, uh, I'd imagine, uh, proud of that defensive effort to uh, giving up 13 points and uh, forcing uh, four turnovers. Uh, that's a pretty good night on that side of the ball, uh, and that's an effort that's probably going to win you most games. Correct? Yeah, the 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 defense was really outstanding in this case. We. Um, uh, Mike had a great game plan going in, uh, was coached up well, and the, the kids were able to execute it. And we, you know, our, our uh, matchups, we set ourselves up some, for some pretty good matchups. We think we matched up fairly well in the line, about, you know, pretty close to even. And then we put enough guys in coverage to, to push them to run the ball. And, you know, it worked for, you know, over three quarters, we were able to get stop, you know, stop after stop and get the ball back. Um, very proud of what the defense did. And this week, uh, you're back home. You take on a uh, Western Butte team that will be coming in with the 3-2 and two record. Uh, looking at them on film, uh, what impresses you the most about the Bobcats? You know, they, have a, they have really an outstanding line, a big line, physical line. Um, uh, they have some skilled players that can, can make a lot of plays too. Um, but uh, they're, they're pretty technically sound. They don't run lots of plays. Um, they're a mix of guys. They got a lot of, a lot of good seniors in there and quite a few juniors in there. Um, so they, they, and then they have a, a pretty good amount of depth, uh, freshman quarterback is new a few games ago and he's led them to some victories, uh, uh, fairly accurate, accurate player. Uh, we're going to really need to, um, get after it and, and get after their running game and tackle a pretty good running back, uh, or even a couple of guys. Uh, and, and then offensively, we'll, we'll try to throw some wrinkles at them, try to see if we can get, uh, squirt some more first downs and then get the ball in the end zone, try to get the ball in a few different people's hands. And you mentioned uh, a big offensive line. Uh, that's a, a matchup that's uh, probably going to favor them on a size comparison. Uh, that's a matchup uh, you've run into a couple of times earlier this year. What did you uh, perhaps learn from uh, going up against some big uh, offensive lines like West Delaware early in the year that uh, can help you uh, heading into a game like today? Well, we you, you start with um, being gap sound. You, know, you make sure that you hit all of your gaps properly and then you you really got to work on uh the speed and the physicality of the game and and you know get get players going get them excited for that and then um when we get to that time we gotta we gotta get some wins then we you know once you get near the tackle you gotta make the tackle you know we we have uh, had a few times where we haven't gotten those tackles in space um and so you you know you work on really being sound with what you're doing 
and then you know fight 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 uh work on your double teams and combination blocks to to try to give yourself the best chance to get get some movement all right uh, coach hopefully you can get back on the winning track and uh, hopefully uh, home finds you well uh, this friday night keep your guys healthy we wish you best of luck thank you darren pat truman head coach of the decor vikings